Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about our hip glide in the coronal plane. We're going to use the reformer in the spring. This is one of the favorite places for me to really get that um, initiation, that pure movement of the anominate around the femur. So I have my foot bar on the second notch, a red and a yellow spring, and then you might need to use a pillow. I'm going to use my bottom arm under my head. So I'm going to slide it in. I'm holding onto the back um, peg. And then I'm really trying to line my head, shoulders, and hips up in a line. My bottom knee is bent, my top leg. When it's straight, I really want to look that the heel is in line with my sits bone. And so my leg is going to stay straight. I also don't want my foot turned out or turned in. I want it to be parallel. So I'm pressing into the center of my heel. And then between my first metatarsal, second metatarsal space. And then I want to make sure that I'm stacked, pelvis and shoulders. And then with my legs straight, I'm going to slowly glide my hip up to my armpit. So I'm shortening my top waist, and I'm really allowing my bottom waist and my ribs to find the floor. And here, I'm even letting my belly soften. So I really want the whole side of my body on the reformer carriage to get really, really heavy. And then staying in that coronal space, I'm going to initiate the glide of my pelvic half down towards the foot bar. So as I'm opening up my top waist and lightening my bottom waist a little bit, I'm also paying attention to how heavy my bottom ribs can stay on the carriage. And then again, I'm going to glide my hip up to my armpit. And I'm not doing this fast. I'm really um, paying attention to creating length in this eccentric phase really continuing and, and reinforcing the weight of my bottom rib cage and the weight of my waist down into the floor without rocking my pelvis forward or back. Again, making sure that I have the center of my heel, ball of my foot, gliding my hip down and really paying attention that as my hip is drawing down towards the foot bar, and I'm lightening my bottom waist, I'm trying to keep as many of my bottom ribs, even my lower ribs, down onto the mat. And then what I'm doing here is I'm working gait mechanics. So I'm having my thoracic spine translate to the carriage, and as I drop my hip towards the foot bar, my lumbar spine is being sent, translating, towards the ceiling. Now, we want to make sure that we don't move into the transverse plane. Really important to stay in that coronal plane. Now, you can add the arm into this to create a little bit more action. So when my hip slowly goes up to my armpit, I can reach my top arm as if I'm wanting to do a little side bend. And then as my hip reaches to the foot bar, I can stretch my arm up and over my head, but ooh, I really got to remind myself to get those bottom ribs down, right? My bottom ribs down, but as a much length with my arm over my head, which is really challenging that. And then as I slowly bring my hip up to my armpit, then I do that active reach of my arm down towards my foot. And as I glide my hip, keeping my bottom ribs down, then challenging it even more with that reach of my arm overhead. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.